When working in ScreenFlow, uh, sometimes you need to crop the canvas uh, in order for you to be able to export animations for your website. So for in this instance, I have this small little breadcrumb hover animation that I have that when it hovers over, I want to show it as a reference for my portfolio. But the problem I have is I have all this extra white space and I don't want to post crop it in HTML. So let's go ahead and do that in the video. First, click on the crop tool. And here you'll be able to see what the default crop value is. You can choose a preset if you want to. This toggle over here will allow you to snap the canvas to the foreground window. Now, I can go ahead and adjust these numbers manually if I want to. And you can see that the size starts to change. But this can become very tedious. So when you hover over, you'll notice that on the edges that there are lines, uh, little cursor items that change. So I can go ahead and drag it, and notice that it starts dragging the entire window proportionately. To override this, hold the Shift key down, and then just pull in any direction that you need. So I want to go ahead and put a nice margin. You can even pull from the corner, and if you pull it without the Shift key, you'll get it proportionate, and if I hold the Shift key, you'll be able to adjust it accordingly. All right, that looks good to me. Now hit the checkbox. I'm going to set my in and out values. And then just go ahead and export the range. To make sure that you get the crop that you wanted, click on the resolution drop down and switch it to whatever resolution of the percentage that you cropped it to. So over here, this is the cropped value. I'm going to go ahead and type in the value that I want to save it as. And then just hit export. Once you do that, let's go ahead and pull up the file. And now you can see perfectly crop value.